What is a cybersecurity sales engineer? In this video, you're gonna learn about the cybersecurity sales engineer role and why it might be a good role for you to look at later in your career. So you'll learn about an overview of the job, what do they actually do, different job titles that you might see it listed as out there on social media and job boards, some of the key responsibilities, average salary, tools used, as well as do you need college degree certs, all that good stuff. So what is a cybersecurity sales engineer? Basically, this is gonna be a professional that works in cybersecurity, uh, but their key responsibility is gonna be technical solutions and basically supporting the sales team as well as customers or potential customers for the organization. So it's kind of a, a blend between technical sales and marketing in a way. So you're the go-to person that the sales team is going to use for like demos and things like that and basically coming on and, and listening to a, a prospect, so a company, and saying, okay, these are the problems that they're having, asking certain questions, asking good questions, and then determining what solutions that your company has that can help fill those gaps that they're needing the help with. So some of the different job titles you might see it listed as is cybersecurity solutions engineer, technical sales specialist, uh, pre-sales, technical account management manager or commonly called TAM and cybersecurity product specialist as well. So like usual below this video in the description, I'll list out a number of other job titles that it, you might see it listed as. So what are some of those job responsibilities? As I mentioned, you're basically that technical advisor or technical expert for the sales team. So you're going to gather those technical requirements. So talking to those customers and trying to develop those customized cybersecurity solutions based on whatever your company is selling. So you're really assessing that overall client need. You're gonna be delivering presentations as well as product demonstrations. So delivering technical pres presentations and demonstrations to the technical teams, but initially you're usually also gonna be doing like a demo to non-technical people. Usually kind of that initial pre-screen, if you will, of people at the prospect company. Then it'll dive, as, as the deal becomes more serious or potentially more serious, then you'll dive into more of the technical weeds. Those different teams will ask a lot of questions and you're the go-to person to answer all those questions and basically provide that technical expertise and also the product expertise from your company of how these products you're selling can integrate with that company's infrastructure and magically solve all their problems. So what about money? Like what, what can you expect around the money side? Well, generally speaking, the base salary is gonna be anywhere from like the low 70,000s to a couple hundred thousand per year US base. That depends on the organization. I know some organizations actually pay in, this, in the low 70s, but because of their compensation structure, the people I know are making like 130, 140,000. So it really depends a lot on where you go. The key thing here for at least the US most of these positions are going to have some type of additional compensation structure. So what that means is when the deals actually close, you'll get some kind of a percentage usually of the commission. Usually much smaller than the sales team, but still something pretty nice, especially if you consider that a lot of these deals are really large, like multi-million dollar deals. So a $20 million deal, potentially as a sales engineer, that might net you a couple hundred thousand dollars, which is not a bad way to live. In the UK, 40 to 70,000 pounds, and then in India, 6 to 15 lakhs is, again, the base annual salary for those areas. What are some of the tools that you might actually use? Well, a lot of these tools you're going to actually use are going to be similar to the sales team. But you're, of course, going to be using whatever the product or solutions that your, your company is offering. Uh, for example, if you work for Splunk, you'll be using Splunk and the variety, the whole catalog of different Splunk solutions. So you'll get really good at those things. You'll be, if you're brand new to the company, they'll obviously train you and send you through training for all those things to become an expert in those. You'll be working with the CRM, like Salesforce, for example, or HubSpot, um, mostly because you're going to be involved in the in working with the sales team. So you'll get exposure to that. You're also going to be need to be experienced with. You don't normally use these on a daily basis, but you need to be experienced with, and that's why you'll hear me mention a few times in this video, it's not an entry-level type of role. Just need to, be, need to be experienced with a variety of network and AppSec tools, things like firewalls, SIM tools, um, XDRs, MDRs, EDRs, uh, not MDRs, but EDRs, XDRs. Uh, be familiar with different cloud applications, cloud, cloud native solutions, so things like uh, Google Cloud Identity, for example, or what's in AWS, et cetera. Uh, different experience with different network architecture. So that's where the IT background would be, would be very helpful or working in like a SOC analyst or cybersecurity engineer role. Um, 
and again, the biggest focus here as far as tools are going to be the product solution that you're selling. You absolutely have to be an expert in those things. But what about certifications, college degrees, all this stuff? None of that's required. Uh, most people would usually have some certs, though, just because they're coming from that technical background already in some other role. Again, that's why this one's not an entry-level role. So some of the common certs you might see are the CISSP, the CISA, which is an auditing certification, and then the uh, CompTIA Security Plus, which, again, is a very low-level baseline of cybersecurity information. So key takeaway, again, I've said it a few times in this video, this is not an entry-level role. So if you're entry-level, you're trying to get your first job in cybersecurity, this is absolutely not a job you should look at because you are responsible for a couple of things. You're responsible, number one, for helping the client solve their problems. You have a duty to the client or the prospect to help them solve their problems. And number two, if you mess up, like if you are not experienced and you try to line your resume, number one, it's going to show. And number two, it's going to affect the revenue of the company. It's going to affect a lot of people's lives because you didn't, you weren't responsible enough to take ownership and say, I'm not experienced enough for this particular role. So this is not an entry level role, contrary to what a lot of people on social media might tell you. And, and these, there's like some, I know there's like one boot camp at least that says, oh, I'll be a sales engineer or whatever. Yes, maybe you can get a job as a junior sales engineer, but I don't recommend it because it really only hurts you because you have no clue what you're doing on, on anything, right? To just be honest with you. So I recommend work work some kind of IG job, work some kind of other entry-level cyber job, SOC analyst, whatever, junior pen tester, whatever, whatever, IEM engineer, whatever you want to do. But get, get like a year's experience or something and then go from there to try to get this type of